from Nancy's Nifty Nook and I'm coming to you this afternoon with a yard sale slash thrift haul. <clears throat> some of the stuff I got at yard sales, some of it I got at thrift stores. Um, let's start with this one. This is a Winnie the Pooh trinket box. I'm trying to get it open with one hand. Without breaking it. <clears throat> empty um it says where's my honey it has the disney mark on the bottom and then on the back it says rumbly in my tummy tumbly and there's Winnie and piglet there's no chips or anything on here it opens fine it's just hard to do it one-handed I think I'm going to put this on eBay. I paid, I want to say 50 cents for it. Might have been 75 cents. Then, the kitty cucumbers. I paid a quarter piece for these. Here's the angel kitty with the happy report card day. And this is ginger. This kitty cucumber. These are from the 80s. This is Dunce, wearing the Dunce hat. J.P. Buster, and by Smith. I believe I remember these from the 80s, growing up. Um, seemed like there was a whole line of them. But I saw these two, and I thought they were so cute. And they were 25 cents a piece, so I thought, let's see what happens. So I think I'm going to put them together and list them on eBay. <clears throat> And then I found this. This is brand new. It hasn't been used. It's a wristlet. Crossbody. It's by Chats. Look at the price tag. $39. You can look inside of it. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. It has a zipper in the back. I'm going to put this on eBay too. But if it doesn't sell, it's not going to hurt my feelings to keep it. <clears throat> then I have two teapots. I have this one, the roses. There's no chips in this either. And the inside looks pretty new. It's made by Burton and Burton. There you go. Of Bogart, Georgia. It does have a little mark right here, but I think a little barkeeper spring will get that right off. Or I might just, I'm going to try soap and water first. Then I'll try the barkeeper's friend. Or maybe just a magic eraser. You know, I did hear on one video, people use magic erasers for stuff like that. So I'll try that too. <clears throat> then I got this teapot. And this is a, a opalescent pearl, I guess you would call it. Because it kind of looks pearl, but then, I don't know if you can tell, but there's tiny little blue and pink and green into the shine of it and this one's nice too there's no chips or anything but it's been well loved as you can see the gold has started to come off so you can see where the gold has actually came off the handle i would say this is probably from the 60s maybe the hold let the steam out <clears throat> I really like this I thought it was very pretty I am gonna put it on um, eBay I saw a few others on eBay so I'm just gonna add mine to it and then this milk glass I know some people say you shouldn't buy milk glass but I happen to like milk glass and <clears throat> this with the grapes especially square I like square containers for some reason I'm not crazy about round ones, even though I have a lot of round terracotta pots that I use in strawberry pots because I like to garden. 
<clears throat> but I prefer the square shape. And this is just so cute. It doesn't have any chips or anything in it. And this I'm going to keep my... Everything else that you've seen so far, I'm listing. This I'm going to keep for myself. And I paid... 50 cents for this and I paid three dollars for this and I paid 49 cents for this one so let's move on this plate I bought at the thrift store and it was 49 cents it doesn't have any chips or cracks it's also a dishwasher and microwave safe but I really couldn't see eating off of it um on the front it looks like carrots but I'm really not sure if you happen to know if those are carrots or what they are, if you would share it in the comments, I would appreciate it. It's made by American Adlier. I hope I said that right. <clears throat> and you can see the 49 cent price sticker still on it. As well, as I found these at the thrift store. These are Courier and Ives. They're the, well, they're supposed to be four seasons, but I only have three. This was Autumn. And these plates, you know, as cute as they are, I hate to say they're not going for anything hardly on eBay. I think it's maybe $8.99 for three of them, $12.99 for four. This one is summer. This one is spring. It's just so pretty. I plan to keep those because, like I said, they're not going for anything. How many of you like watching the Hallmark movies that they're doing right now? The Christmas, the Christmas ones? I love to find the Hallmark movie books that go with the movies. Like, I have some, you know, um, Just Desserts with Allison Sweeney. I have several of the books that go with those movies. And this one, it's, I don't know if it's a Hallmark movie or not. It has two stories in it. But I saw this for 25 cents and I picked it up. And it's Mistletoe and Mr. Wright. And it's in really good condition. It's like it's new. So I plan to read that when all the Christmas movies are over. <laughs> and this, I like old books as well. Actually, I like books, period. I'm one of those people that is. If I had a choice between having a new dress and a new book, I would choose a new book. This is called The Story of Our Country. This one is a really old book, and I did pay like $5 for it. It is coming apart. Most of you may think I'm crazy. But look at the artwork. Lincoln raising the flag in 1861. This book is actually from... I'll flip over. 1921 and it has several beautiful pieces of artwork in here there's the first Thanksgiving this is the ship that sunk in Victoria it has several interesting things in this book so I got this, and like I said, I paid five dollars for it. Four ninety-five, but okay, basically five dollars that I paid for this one. Then I found this. Whoops, that's a boo boo. Four ninety-five is what I paid for this one. Oh no, I paid ten dollars for this one. Sorry. This is the com comprehensive Western School and College Dictionary. I love this book. I'll hold on to this book forever. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to have to take that ribbon off of it before I end up tearing it up. See some of the crazy pictures they have in it? They're just beautiful. These are orchids, by the way. And then different kinds of timber. This is different kinds of cherries. Pheasants. There's several of these cards here. I mean, uh, 
What would you call these? They're pictures. I can't think of what you call them. In the front of this book, anyway, there's several of them. I paid $10 for this. This book I'm keeping. A Hobbit Devotional. Bilbo Baggins and the Bible. This book I had planned to give to my granddaughter. But she is not into that. So she's not into the Hobbits. <laughs> so I guess I'll list it. That's kind of interesting. <clears throat> Pocket Scottish History. I got this one as well. I paid 25 cents for this one. I paid 25 cents for this one. And as you can see, um, it was $3.99 at some point. And this one, it doesn't even seem like it's even been read or anything because the spine is not broken. Like it's been open. And it's really, when you go to look through it, it's really hard to look through. I'm going to list this one. I'm sure there's someone out there that will love it. So there's that. Then my final antique book that I got is called Heroes of Annapolis. This book I think I got out of... I'm not sure where I got this book. But I think it was free. I'm pretty sure it was free. And I can't find this book anywhere. But it is about Annapolis. And when I can figure out... See, all these old books, they all have writing in them. Every old book I think I have has writing. And a lot of times the spine is coming apart. Because I find them at the strangest places. Now, I do go to book sales at the libraries. And I encourage you, if you love books, visit your library. Go to the book sales. Support them. Donate to them. I mean, they need our help with the internet and, you know, ebooks and everything like that. They really need our support. But this, um, this book, my, uh, my uncle, he retired from the Navy and if he were alive he would love this book and I would definitely send it to him but unfortunately he's not yeah so I need to look this book up and the spine is really great the binding's in good condition the cover is not falling off and see it even has the uh, look at this the library card 1946 crazy <clears throat> and I picked up a couple of books for my granddaughters meet the monsters of monster high and this is an older one I think this one is 2012 and this is ever after high wolves and the rebels and this one I think is 2014 but I think they'll enjoy these I'm working on putting more um, children's books in my spare bedroom since the girls, they spent the night and they informed me that I had nothing for them to read when they couldn't go to sleep. So I'm trying to improve on that. Then I got this. Oh, these books. I think I paid a quarter a piece or 50 cents a piece for them. I think they were a dollar together. This piece I got at a yard sale. And I think I paid three dollars for it. It's a divided dish. It's milk glass. I don't. I have one piece of milk glass from my mother. Um, she passed away last year, um, so I have one piece from her. And then I decided to buy one another one of these because I have one from her. So I decided to buy another one because I love these. You can stick all your vegetables in the middle, your dips on each side, and you can do two different kinds of dips. And if this is what, if this is what you snack on, you know, or it's what you're going to have for a meal, you can certainly put enough vegetables in here to make you a meal off of them or if you're having company over to watch movies it's just a good way to you know be a little fancy when you're watching your movie <laughs> 
I know you've heard these plates rattle, rattling. I'm going to break these. Oops, don't break that. Rattling on the table. But this is um, a couple of state plates. North Carolina and then Tennessee. Tennessee has a chip on the back right there. Um, North Carolina is in really good shape. I have a um, shed out back. A she shed. It's not really a she shed. It's more like a potting shed that's just um, enclosed and I'm working on it. I want to turn it into a she shed. You know, I'm jealous of Cheryl. Hope she gets a new one since hers burned down. <laughs> but um, I have a plate rack on the front of it that the former owners of this place left and it has plates in it that the former owner left. So I'm going to switch these out, switch those out and put these in there. And I like it a lot better, I think. I think I want state plates in it. I couldn't find any with like huge florals on them. Because if I could have found a couple of plates with a lot of florals on them, I would have done that instead. But then I have this. And this, I think, was probably my find of the day. I got this for $5. It's a BCBG purse. It's brand new with tags. Look at the price. You see that? $168. It's coffee colored. It has an adjustable strap. And I don't think this person ever used it because look at this. Let me get where I can show you. It still has the stuffing inside. And here's the back of it. And I really like this purse, but I think I'm going to list it. Because according to my husband, I have a lot of purses, which I do. And I do need to downsize. <laughs> well, that's all I have for today. I'll probably try to upload three times a week, maybe. I really enjoy YouTube. I enjoy the thrifters on YouTube, the resellers, the comments. <clears throat> learning new things. I really do enjoy the learning from everybody. If there's anything on here that you think that you would like to have, visit my Etsy store, not Etsy, eBay store. I will list the link in below. And if you like this kind of content, since this is my first video, I hope you guys will cut me some slack. But if you like this kind of content, if you would like to see more of this content, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Um, I would appreciate if you would subscribe and hit the notification bells. So you'll know when I upload a video. And until next time, I appreciate you. Thank you.